What's up, everybody? My name is Jason, and welcome to Small Biz. In today's video, we're going to talk about how the Fed's favorite inflation gauge was hotter than expected. But wait a minute. Why is the Dow up 171 points? And if Snap's earnings were so good last night, why did we take a 32% profit? And is it really true that once again, we just made another $485,000 on the trade? All that and more coming right up. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here I am, the hardest working man in showbiz. I'm not supposed to be here today. TGIFT. And before we talk about the stock market, what happened with Snap, what I'm buying right now, biotech stock, mm, looking juicy, huh? Let me uh, lubricate my lips once again. Oh. The combination of the taste and the smell of this right here, forever aloe lips from our friend Kate and her father, Todd, at magicvalleyallo.com. She's 13 years old. She's got cerebral palsy, but she's a fighter, and she's awfully cute. We saw a photo of her inside of the Virtual Business Channel. So, Kate, hang in there. Play the long-term game. I promise I'm going to do everything in my power to help you in magicvalleyallo.com be insanely successful. Where's Tony? Where's the bloody terrific coffee? Drop Bear Coffee. I think you guys place so many orders inside of the private Discord community that he's off somewhere trying to get more product made it may come in a plain white drop ship bag folks but whether you have the hot like i have or the cold brew it's bloody terrific mate i'm telling you right now it's insanely good and as you just saw inside of our discord i just bought uh, a rustic flag from our friend todd holton god bless him he served in the gulf war we love you we appreciate your service to this country he lives i believe out in big fork montana and on his Etsy page, you can also find him on Facebook, Holton's Rustic Flags. As soon as I get it, and I'm certain it's going to take a few weeks to get here, we'll put it on display and we'll raise a ton of awareness, not only for Kate at MagicValleyAllo.com, Drop Bear Coffee with our buddy Tony, but Todd and everyone else inside of the virtual business channel. And before I talk about this market, Snap, why we got out, how much we made, and what we're getting into, I want to ask everybody... Pretty much a question I've mentioned, I don't know, 100, 200 times before. Do you have a small business? 33 million Americans do hundreds of millions more around the world. And if you're like me and you got anywhere close to 100,000 followers on YouTube and Twitter, you know that social media reach is down to 1% or less. I had at one point a week or two ago. 80,000 followers on Facebook. I paid 27 Gs. They were showing our stuff to three or 400 people. I don't think so. I don't need some far left commie site that's helping you know who get reelected. Hide my shit from 99 point whatever percent. No, you need to get inside of a private discord community for literally less than a half a cup of coffee a day. It's 250 a, a, a day. 75 a month if you don't have a small biz, 85 a month if you do, and that's about half of our members. And if you pay by the year at shopsmallbiz.com, you get 25% off that. It, it's pennies a day. And even though a quarter of our business said, fuck you, Jason, in the last two months of readjusting our price higher, and it's still insanely undervalued, we have people making five, 10, 15, a hundred thousand dollars a month. And how much are they paying me? Somewhere between 75 and 85 bucks. What? Let's get this straight. We just sold 100,000 shares of Snap at 14 and a half average last night. Last trade about the same price. We made close to half a million dollars. We're knocking down over a million dollars of capital gains every single month since we opened nine months ago. And people are leaving over $75 a month. <laughs> You're a liar. You're a con man. You're a thief. I've heard it all. Just go look my name up anywhere on the internet. You think I'd have robbed a bank every other week. Instead, I'm making a tiny fraction of what I'm worth. Why? Because I grew up poor. I'm the oldest of five. My father was a welder, rest his soul. My mother, is, as well, is up in heaven with him. She was a stay-at-home mom. I came from nothing. And when I die, I'm going back to nothing. But pure love, baby. I can't take it with me, and neither can you. 
But if I can somehow help young uh, folks like Kate and her father, who obviously loves her to pieces, or what can be somewhat annoying at times, uh, Tony, bloody terrific coffee mate. He's like a kid in a candy store. Or Todd Holton and his rustic flags and our junkyard dog. Yeah, we're going to get to him out in California. And everybody else, all you got to do is get in there, get involved, take a genuine interest. I promise I and hundreds of people from all over the world will not only take a genuine interest in you and your family, but you'll make far more than the 75 or 80 bucks that you're paying me every fucking month. So the obvious question is, what's the market doing up? Well, I'll tell you why. We have a deflation problem that's coming to the United States of America. And sadly for my Republican friends, it's going to arrive just in time to save you know who's ass. Most likely. I give them a 51% chance. They're going to cheat. We all know that. But people vote with their pocketbook. And if inflation falls off a cliff, it was 1.2% in Italy yesterday, 2.1% in Germany. It's even less than that in China with used car prices down 57% in the last quarter. It's coming to the U.S. You're going to see rates, mortgage rates go from 7.5% to 55 or thereabouts by the end of the year. And we're going to have a deflationary problem or disinflation problem in 2025 when the Fed is cutting rates like crazy, most likely starting in July, no later than September. Which means what? Which means the IWM, the small cap stocks that we trade are going to be on fire. Just like crypto and even these shit coins that I don't recommend you get involved in. When the Fed starts juicing, the markets and adding liquidity and slashing rates to somewhere around three and a half or four percent. In other words, taking away at least half of what they increased in the last few years. It's going to be flying cars and trips to motherfucking Mars. And yet some of you clowns are listening to the fools on CNBC that got the bulls. Oh, I think you should buy NVIDIA. Really? You think you should buy NVIDIA now? How about the guy that said buy it at 112? Ask the Italian from Laguna Beach along with Facebook at 88. And Tesla at 105 on X before I got inside of a private Discord community and earned my motherfucking keep. In closing, if you give us a chance, we can not only make you rich, but keep you rich. We have a dozen whales inside of the Discord. They put 40, 50 Gs into an idea. Three of them I showed you last night in the Discord. They made $18,000 on Snap. $18,000. They get into the heavy, uh, the stocks that have more liquidity. You know a couple of them right now. You think they're bitching and complaining? You think they're considering walking out the door? No. They send me notes. They come to fucking town and take me out to dinner. Pull out the checkbook and beg me. Let, let me just please let me write you a check for $10,000. I don't think so. We'll set up a tip jar. Nah, not yet. I don't need the money right now. But I will say this. I refuse to fucking run the business at break even or a loss. So if you guys don't start helping us and gals get more referrals and we slip below that minimum threshold of 300, then it's going to $100 a month or I'm going to shut the motherfucker down. So until next time, always remember that I love you and you can bet your ass it's going to be a white Jane. Motherfucker night.